Previously on AI The Somnium Files. <laughs> Shot me off the cut. <laughs> Where you from? Run. Djibouti. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. I can't tell, tell you me. anymore. Here's what I mean. And the doctor is... I have a spare. Date, Mama is calling. Cry me a fucking river. I would never show my boobs. Oh, are you sure about that? Bet, deck, forget, Fred A said you bet. Yeah, blow those boys. No, 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 no. no. Enough of that. Back are to the video. Sure that song. Mr. Opira wrote the music, okay. and I wrote the lyrics. I'm back from the embarrassment. I was actually it's back a while a ago, but I'm... Place in my heart. I did not want to say anything. It was pretty That's bad. Right. Yeah, I, I figured. Music. I think yeah, idols. He's really better. talented. I look up to him. I think idols in Japan need better. He's done I know, so right? much for me. I know I can rely on no, him more than Rian, anyone else. No, Rian, the what's it? The um, Tupperware boxes in Korea can do better. Unfortunately, we didn't find Renju here. But we discovered that he was looking for Iris. But why? I say again. We can think Baron. about that later. Let's get going. Yeah, you're right. What? Okay then, shot. let's uh, okay, so the shrine, the warehouse or food? You know, let, let's go to the warehouse, she wanted to see where she so-called die, so might as well go and show her lah, right? Should be, yeah. Uh... Hi. I saw it. I'm sure. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. That wouldn't that would be too far off. You don't it? look like a floating sheet. <laughs> you have legs. Date, not all ghosts are floating sheets, you stupid idiot. Bodo. legs. Maybe they're my boobs! Hatu tete! Hatu tete! No! Hatu tete! Look at how smart she is like. My boobs are damn long. Bro! Getting saggy as fuck, bro! They better not be eh! Don't put shoes on your boobs eh! Bro! I want a nose on your chest. I want a nose. <laughs> See, I want. She's floating. There, her titties are touching the ground. She puts titties on her shoes. She put shoes on her titties. Bro, yeah, she put shoes on her titties. I still can't get that out of my mind that like, you put shoes on your fucking titties. So what? You can run in prone position. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Why are you focusing on an 18 year old girl's titties? This is bad! Stop! <laughs> She's too pretty cute! Why are you doing What has she done wrong? Did they kill the fucking puppies? Have saggy titties? Like, what the hell, man? Not even them condoms stretch that much. What the fuck, bro? You can't be mad dying here. Hey, next, next. Let's get out of the screen, right? Didn't He's you say smart. That you save me in your dream? Better be. Oh. I'm yeah. dying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I this is the time that I wish, really wish Nick were here. <laughs> I can drag him along in this um, roller coaster ride of misery. <laughs> what did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnia, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? We have a machine that we call the Sync Machine. It's, just, it's called a... You should just call it a Sync, the P-S-I-N-K. Sync. What is that? It's a Sync Machine. <laughs> That's not an explanation! You're Tell not a girl. Works. Well... Um, okay, Saggy Hitties. <laughs> Sally makes Saggy Tits. <laughs> Ring Sally up! <laughs> Sally, no. Excuse me, what? <laughs> you know, didn't, you have the, didn't, didn't you know bring Sally? No. Is this basically it's, this whole country song? Bring Sally up, then you go push yourself up. Bring Sally down, then you lower yourself up, then you bring Sally. It's, something like that, like, it basically oh, just it's a, punishes you. It's a push up you. song. Uh. Yeah, then bring Sally down, there's like one, one fucking phrase for like 30 to 45 seconds, and just holding it there, screaming internally while it's like, fucking. Uh, up. So my corpse was yeah, on some here. Some solid shit. Yeah. Let's, I hope they show the picture on it. Hi, Iris. Do you know about the. What the hell is this? The BBB? Huh? <coughs> Cup size. <coughs> I've heard of it. The blood brain barrier, right? Ah, okay. Okay, that's the BB. I was thinking of something else. You don't medical, medical personnel. Don't call that uh, uh, BBB. <laughs> I guarantee you. They take the acronym. You go into CGH. You tell them BBB. You got you got bleeding in my BBB. They be like, how about? <laughs> Bruh, the, the kind of BBB I was uh, thinking of was a train. It was a train. <laughs> 
Shut up! Of course you would think about trees. <laughs> choo choo. Inside the school, there's an army of little teeny tiny soldiers that surround the grave. <laughs> That's not how that works. Hey, this is not the call, okay? <laughs> this is not the call. <laughs> God do tea. God do tea. So you pray. So they Yo. protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? Basically, like... Almost did. Yeah. The blood-brain barrier describes the architecture of the microvessels of the brain. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4 nanometers. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. But now, uh, do you know about <laughs> nanotechnology? Dude, nanomachines, Nanotech? son! Yeah, technology related to really small things. Like, really teeny tiny things. And when they make the machine... They're called nano machines. Nano machines, son. I heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields. Uh, not wrong. Some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. Nano machines, son. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep beep beep. That's what Mars said. Beep. <laughs> the beep beep beep. Well, no. I don't know if it was like beep beep or rrr, rrr. but anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Yeah, I know shit. We put pumping in oh, like. Oh, there's three three new cases, and now we've got sixteen cases of Wuhan. Nice. Only Wonderful. a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology, uh, but he's pretty liberal, so. Okay, we're, we're being politically we're, we're being political about this now, are we? Let us. Not. Yeah, we... let us let Largely us not. Accurate. Nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative 9th power. <laughs> a nanometer is therefore 0 0.00000001 meters. The sync machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. So sync nanomachines are far smaller than that. And did I say it again? Nanomachines, son. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. What's this? I guess not. No, I know what it is. It's the core programming behind AI, right? What? 18 year old knows this, ah? Uh. That's right. What's wrong? Don't tell me, she's an AI. <gasps> what? You're shivering. It's nothing, don't worry about it. You sure about that? To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. This data is sent to the brain, which achieves the sync. Here's how sync works. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Sinkers like me equip the sync gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. Nano machines! <laughs> The joke is getting really old now, yeah. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special yeah. nano machine. Nano machines. <laughs> uh, senator, what's his name? Uh? What's the name of that senator? Armstrong. Armstrong. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. <clears throat> you know why? The BBB soldiers say, "Go away!" and push them back. <laughs> so stop, sir. Can't do this. So stop, sir. So One stop, time sir. Time. Well, yeah. Kind of. But for Man, the sink to work, we have to get the nanomachines into the brain itself. How do we do that? So do you... Drill a hole in the skull? No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and... <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with tools. We don't have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. Yeah, they're called eye sockets. One of those holes yeah, is sockets. the optic canal, which is a nerve canal located behind the eyes. Oh, I was right. It is the, it is the eye sockets. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes. Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that's freaky. Uh, okay. Skip, 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 Then skip. go to the back of your eye socket. Okay, skip. okay, that's the enough. Seat? That's the enough of that. brain cells, anyway. Skip. I don't even want to see the graphic. Bro, cover, cover your screen, cover your screen. Okay, we're done. I have all that. Oh, the hell? Hey, get out of my house. What the hell? I'm a poltergeist inside the circuit board. What? You said I was a ghost, right? Maybe I'm haunting the warehouse. Maybe you're haunting the warehouse. You're fucking one meter long TVs. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you do realize I'm gonna like meme the shit out of the origin, out of the out of when I said, said that the first time, right, Rian? Hi, yeah. I'm Jemimon. Oh my god! I you put you inside the drum. So what else? What else can we look at? This, B B fucking B B. <laughs> Yes, to continue talking to her, Once I guess. Oh! The <laughs> they can begin the Bass back process. again! Quick, get off, get it off my brain, screen! Get it off! Say again, man off! Man off! Ah! This is controlled by the Wadjet system. And yeah. that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Yeah, am I gonna like, do lie down for five minutes? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I do not, I do not, do not want! Do not want! Just close your eyes, just close your eyes, just close your eyes. Do not want! Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. I am, I am, I'm hearing it. 
There would be accidents all over the place. Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay, the image is gone. <laughs> Better be. Okay. Eh, maybe it Better wasn't be. the best metaphor. What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will break. Oh, uh, fair enough, I guess. I see. Any more? Image comes up because again. Okay, no, never mind. Sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain, and the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories, like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. Oh, so we're basically like Inception level mind thieves, uh, and everyone else from that movie. And Tom Hardy being really, really gay, but also really, really butch. There's a time limit. Yes, or else. The house will collapse on her head. So it's like, look, so it's like breaking and entering in the house and doing the middle of a 9.0 earthquake. <laughs> ah, gentlemen, gentlemen, you take your time, you take your time! The neural circuits <laughs> would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's house. <laughs> this side is, um, uh, what's it called? Uh? House of Cards. No, 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 not House of Cards. Um, what do you call, uh, what's the thing? Um, SOL. <laughs> Summarize. Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync works, but still. Just don't tell anyone. This is extremely confidential. It's okay, I won't. Date, tell me this. Hmm? Tell me Who did you sync with yesterday? Um, Congressman So Sejima? Didn't I show you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Hey, Date, you saw my corpse here, right? I did. I'm sure of it. And in so strange, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then yeah. somehow, I resurrected. Yeah. Hmm. Date, that means you're... A superhero. Man. Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah, no shit. She's not wearing... She's yeah, wearing... She's getting... Look at those yeah, legs. Yeah, her what? Look at those titties. <laughs> no, you've grabbed the joke by the metaphorical <laughs> I get old, I swear <laughs> to god. Like, look at her legs and me, look at her teeth. <laughs> I mean, she started it. She's the one to yeah, blame. Yeah, she did. No, actually, it was me, but whatever. Yeah. No, she's the one that said her titties were hanging out. Iris, let's get out of here for now. No one said anything about t No one, absolutely no one. Iris, my titties are my legs. <laughs> I can't even. It is not, not my fault. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, fool. I don't gotta let go of her legs, I mean titties. Help la. Ah, I'm so hungry! T Tessa? Hi. Uh, look, Vian is your favorite character. Fucking YP Bing! Why are you here? I'm hungry, that's why you're fucking. I told Dante I was hungry, so... I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. Y yes, right away! Better be! <laughs> <laughs> fucking YP Bing. Flew into the kitchen, uh, 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 uh. Take all the seat you want. Oh, sure, oh, he's cooking. Oh, wow, now come your stream sounding so many people. Yeah, I feel very awkward now. Oh la, it's fine. Roda Kazuaki's Lanta, grilled well, tongue around. with salt. The fuck is that? A grilled tongue? I know they eat like beef tongue or something. I, I, Who I, the I, hell is Roda Kazuaki? I don't know. Yeah, salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. The vinegar? Yeah, Mayumi's <laughs> juice with mold. <laughs> had it, had it. I'm going to bed. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> You can just head it. You can just play the curb your enthusiasm like the team right now. I I'm just about head it up to here and all these shenanigans. <laughs> I'm gonna like touch my anime figurines and I'm gonna go and sleep. I don't, I, uh. Are you you, you, see, you see had enough? Uh? No. You're gonna stay here and more, do I more. I had right? enough of the, the autism lah, but. Mayumi, juice. None of us can figure out what that sauce is. Better not be. Uh, where's your mom? Your mom gave. She's in the living room. Oh. I think she she's watching be. TV. How about you? What are you doing here? <laughs> Obviously cooking dough. I was just doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. <laughs> slow, slow. I know that thing that starts with M that you all lying around. But unfortunately yeah. we can't say that word on stream, otherwise I'm gonna get straight banned. Yes. <laughs> sleeping. Oh, Dante, oh you lazy fuck. Why are you with Tessa? Oh, are you angry that I'm dating your uh, your woman? Woman open oh, very big open air quotes. <laughs> you know what I mean? We are not shovel forge. On a date. Oh, a date. I mean, <laughs> huh. a date. Oh, a date. <laughs> I mean, his name is Date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Find it, find it, find it, find it, find it. Oh, I thought you were finding a song.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the one hour version, uh, just to skip it. Uh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good enough for the bump. I'm on an investigation and she wouldn't let me go. <laughs> his face like, uh... <laughs> Do you see his face over there like, uh... I, uh, yeah, what now? I, I, I've got it on. What, what is this now? Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? <laughs> ah, my ears! This ah. one is becoming a fucking tragedy. <laughs> you know what, we are not gonna use it. It's, it sucks, it sucks. Yeah, I know. The, yeah, it does kind of suck. No thanks. I'm fine. I'll, 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 add, I'll add it in post. Don't worry, I'm recording this. <laughs> Don't worry. It, this is that, that was a tragedy. I don't know why the bot just decided to screw us over there. You're good at cooking, huh? Yeah, my dad you better be. when I was little. You You're trust a wife to cook. Wow. You're making Maggie. me something too, right? <sighs> Maggie noodles and uh, egg. Sure. My treat, Date. Cyanide. She, he has completely forgotten the fact that we are here date, so-called dating Iris. I'm sure he says he no, no, no small You're still cancer. looking for him? Well, like I told you before, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now fine. You better not know. Uh, what's your usual? Omelette rice. Omelette rice. <sighs> Woman, of hot. hey, fuck you. I, 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 okay, I have nothing <gasps> against omelette rice. I have everything against typical. I have everything against cliches. <laughs> fuck you. It's nice to eat anyway. I, I said I have nothing against omelette rice. I feel like eating omelette rice. Hey, you know any good omelette rice? Oh, does omelette Singapore? rice is so good it gives me stomach cramp. Kesuke? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. What did you just say? <laughs> I, I can't take that seriously now with that face. I really I, I can't. I think that's a good indicator of quality. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Look at Ota in the back. Like, I'm gonna poison this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a compliment? Is it? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> You're delusional. Well, You're delusional. Something. Yeah, I know, right? She for delusional ass bitch. A plus writing. A plus writing. Uh, you made him. Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. She That's gay. not true. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. She was lost in, the in the previous branch that we played, she got you got her, your mom called her a witch. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! That's a bit cruel. What's I know, right? Damn, Tessa. Oh, what what has she done to deserve that? A witch? That's, that's pretty wicked, you know? Damn Mayumi more nasty. Not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. Unfortunately. Okay, I do about your resurrection. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, she, suddenly he's so panicked like... <gasps> what do you mean coming back? Back to life. Uh, I guess you should tell him everything then. Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Bring Tessa me to wake me up, wake me up inside. I'm gonna get the YouTube link for that song, you know. No, <laughs> I'm gonna have Evanescence. I'm gonna have Evanescence playing in the stream in a minute because I'm actually um. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have the alt tab so I can turn down the volume of the bot, you dick. Hell la. About this parallel world. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, sure. How should I explain this? Well, um. Oh, I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Huh? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> What's wrong with her face? Rock, paper, scissors. Her face. Yeah, let's. Let, 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 let. Then you see how his face in the version? He's just yeah. like, ah, surprise Pikachu. Yeah, Bruh. if we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. Like what? <laughs> what if I win? A slap! I'll Ooh. do anything! Oh, oh no, 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 your heart rate is rapidly increasing. Oh my god, why? My oh heart my rate god, is rapidly increasing. <laughs> Among other things, yes, I know Rian. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> so <he's> so <laughs> Wait, Rian. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, shoot. Bang! <laughs> Got him. Uh, hmm, what should I pick? Uh, okay, we need to meet God. What should I pick? What should I pick? Oh fucking no, Rob man. Eeny, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, by his nun, and never let it go, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, scissors. Shoot! Bang! Hey, oh, I lost. Bad hey, I won! How much would I bet if I had gone back and picked paper, she would have picked scissors? Oh, no, 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 you see, this this looks like scissors, but it, it's actually paper. Spock! <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. What? Paper, scissors, Spock! No, why did I throw out scissors? Why? Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> <Or> me! <laughs> I don't have any money. I don't want money instead. Aww. How much would I bet it's a kiss? Yeah. Can you pet my head? <laughs> Aww. Oh my god, why? 
Shut up, I will pet her head any time of the day. Wake me up, 3 a.m. pet her head, I will do it. Pet head. <coughs> And say, Iris is the cutie cutie. The cutest person in the whole wide world. A cutie angel. Ah, I'm gonna die, Rian. Save me. Save Even me I from this. I'm hardly enjoying this. Save me from this. <laughs> Jiao Xingwo. Xingwo, Jiao Xingwo, leave me. Yeah, he's so like, just like done with it. This nothing. Iris is cutie cutie. <laughs> yeah, why is he focusing on Ota? Oh, no. like, Put your heart into it. Why? <laughs> look at, no, dude, Rian, look at Ota. Look at your wifey. It's, like, it's like tragedy. Well, we're just down there like, yeah, yeah, you know what? She might go now, bro. Yeah, we, we, we in tight, bro. She's a cutie cutie. The cutest person in the whole wide world. A cutie angel. <sighs> Ota just bursts a blood vessel. <laughs> Aneurysm. <laughs> he hates me now. <laughs> we just played rock, paper, scissors, right? I won and you pet me. But in a different timeline, maybe we tied. Or maybe I obeyed your orders and did something really scandalous. No, 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 oh, no, 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 There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rewind yeah, yeah. time. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have that functionality. So Fucking those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. I have string theory and all that. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? That wouldn't make sense. That's what I think. Huh. This game doesn't make sense. Parallel yeah, this doesn't make, this game doesn't make sense either. Yeah, can't you are right. It, but... Sure, you I can. Am. Parallel Damn, worlds am. exist. Prove it. Do you know about Scientific. the Mandela effect or the Booba Kiki effect? The, what's the, the what? The, the, uh, the, the what? The boo or the Boo Blake effect? Can you ex? <laughs> Damn it, Rian. No, Rian. I need you to look- I need you to help me look up that second one. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Or the 100 million balls. It apparently is a thing. That, would you believe me? So see me 100 million balls. The Booba Kiki effect is a non-arbitrary mapping between speech sounds and the visual shape of objects. The effect was first observed by German-American psychologist Wolfgang Kohler in 1929. I probably butchered his name. I'm sorry. 100 million balls? Ah, so it's not explicitly stated. Kohler implies that there was a strong preference to pair the jagged shape with the sharper sounding one and the rounded shape with the rounder sounding one. So, sounds make so, shapes. Kiki, is, kiki sounds kind of sharp, so people classify it as the sharp one. Then booba sounds kind of like round. Oh, so it's kind of like... Who could have guessed? Yeah, the boob sound round. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so I, I guess that's why shing sounds sharp. Like. Shing, shing. <laughs> Sounds really interesting, Tessa. Mm, so, so, I know some urban now. legends like that. Like what? I, I, I'm sure you know, like, like how stupid you are, you fucking white people. Yeah, look at this. Look at this smug face. Look at this smug ass face. Trash his face. Like the it. spatial temporal man, and the lost friend, and the story of two sisters. I don't know what these stories are. I've heard people talking about what. Can I? Can I ask him anything? Oh, 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 oh! I can ask him stuff. Nice. Uh, Mandela effect first. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Yeah, no shit, bro. Well, yeah, the former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's oh. the Mandela effect. Oh yeah, that one. People in which people believe... Uh... It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. Yeah, that. Uh, I can still ask about this? Huh. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. Ah, the Berenstein, the Berenstein bears which they can't use because copyright issues. Or people this remembering is, this... that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. There's a Siamese cat cartoon also. The Siamese cat the, cartoon. The Chinese one, no right? One says, yeah, there's a Ching Chong cat. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm gonna Google the Ching Chong Cat cartoon. <laughs> the Ching Chong Cat cartoon. The Ching Chong Cat cartoon. But in our world, he was in a six-seat oh, car. Yeah, yeah, car. Yeah, I thought it was a four-seater too. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. Oh yeah, of course, because they also can't use Pokemon because copyright issues. Ah, Sagwa the cat. Yeah, Sagwa the cat. Hey, Rian, Google me something. Can you Google a Pikachu? Just a just a just a regular ordinary Pikachu. Is, yeah, why? Is the tip of its tail yellow or black? Yellow. Why do I remember it being black? Because it's next to the ears and the ears tips are black. Ah, fair enough. It wasn't? No, Nani? it's all yellow. And the design didn't change. <gasps> the only thing that changed was how big Pikachu got from the first, the first anime series to the current. One. He shrank, he lost weight. Lines from movies, company logos, historical events, and little things. The Mandela effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That would explain it, I guess. I wonder oh. how much I wonder how much of this I'm gonna have. Censor. Ducky, no no not censor, just 
Okay. <gasps> the booba kiki There's is the booba kiki. There's a experiment regarding this picture. Ah. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is booba and which one is kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. The rounder one is booba and the jagged one is kiki. Isn't that See? weird? In other words, everyone thinks that booba is a certain way and kiki is the other. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. I really need like conspiracy theory music for this. Like big brain music or something. <laughs> Perfect. Like worshipping the sun and the sea. Or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what you <laughs> called the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective universal and impersonal nature which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too, connected at a subconscious level. That's... The parallel world? Yeah! You saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, something like that. Meta be. This world is full of really interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? Balls! Thanks for what? That humans exist at all! The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that the might rooms. not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. <laughs> and even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. And yet... Here we are! We better be here. So why is this called 100 million balls? Imagine a box full of ping pong balls, labeled 1 to 100 million. Why is why, why is this version of the X-Files theme this? It's the full one. This is this is the full one, man? Yeah. Okay, fine then. I, I, I haven't watched X-Files in like forever, so... Would you be so. able to pick out the one? Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. <laughs> Operation Big Brain. Anymore? Okay, no. Now it's time to talk urban legends. Yeah, there you sort of attempt like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before, and most of them describe seeing the same person. Have you seen this the person? Have you seen this man? man? He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. A spatial man. temporal man guides people back to the real world. He tells them, "This world is not for you." Or something. Sounds like an SCP. I'd like to meet him someday. So, this elementary school kid, let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a hey, bunch hello, of hello. things on the Charlie. floor. Postcards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there was a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. Yeah, maybe. Strange and spooky. So, there's this girl. Let's call her B. B. She's practicing piano in B. her room. And her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it. But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, Get it? Oh, she's nowhere to I be wonder seen. Where she went. But then B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing B. there. So B asks, When did you go outside? But her mom says, What are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. Hmm. She asks her little sister about it. And she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. Oh, yeah, and what B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. Hey, red dubious, eh? Uh, anything else? I know a ton of stories like this, like being suddenly transported one year into the future. And there's a missing persons report out for you. That one's just a movie. <laughs> you look down at your phone, 
But you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. You look through oh. the contacts, and it's filled with names you don't recognize. Run. Run. It sounds scary. There's more, too. Like this town where everyone is Japanese, <laughs> but they're Bruh, speaking a completely Japan. different language. Is it all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters, and it's not like Korea or China. No, it's no, the no, Japan no, no, we no. know. But the language is different. Language better That's be a different. prime example of a parallel world. It's not Japan. What about the lost friend? There's this kid. A. a. <laughs> He's in elementary school. Well, A had this close friend named Suzuki. A, his best friends. One day after a, school, A, his best friend. B, his together. little brother. C, a and then their parents. D, and E. And Suzuki is laughing his butt off. And he's laughing and laughing. And he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. Ah, excuse me. What? He's well, like that. Like they were hanging down out of his eye socket. That's still very gross. The nerves were still connected, but ah, yeah, he is in shock and doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. Help, Ryan. So Help. A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. He is really concerned for his friend, you know. But Suzuki just says, "Yeah, I'm fine." He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really Help. curious. But he's not getting any answers. <laughs> so Rian. they just part ways and go home. Rian, are you there? The story I am, only I have, gets oh, weirder okay, from here. The next day, oh, like A goes to school, and Suzuki's not there. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. A says, what are you talking about? Gasp. And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Oh. Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No. A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. And is 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 weird. Far, bravo, <laughs> There's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Actually, well, nah, not, not again. necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. Uh, it actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Medically not wrong. Ota is correct. Dislocate as long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged. There are usually no lasting negative effects either. Actually not wrong. There was a case of this in Singapore actually. It was a Malay. It was a Ma there, there, there is a negative effect to my my brain. <laughs> I, I do not understand. Okay, 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 okay. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Yeah, but there was a case of that in Singapore a couple of years ago. Summarize for me, him. When did you two get so knowledgeable? It's the alternate of universe where they're smart. Oh, I don't know. Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. She's a conspiracy theorist. That's why I decided to research it too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey, I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. Yeah, I was just, I was just talking about those. If you oh, want, we could talk about those. Maybe next time. Now, where's where that omelet rice? Yeah. Amurai this. Done. Better be, I say it. Better be. Oh, that's a sheep. Not bad. Eh. Bon appetit. E e. Bon appetit. No, actually, she tried to pick up a spoon. Wait, what? Oi, oi. Wait, what's going on? Uh oh. Wait, hold on. I I I'm gonna turn that. I'm gonna turn back the music for this. Wait, what? Why P just looks so frightened? What? Wait, wait, what happened? She dropped. Tessa, the spoon. I don't know. are you okay? I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's yeah, eat. Better be. Thanks for the food! That was good! So wait, she tried to pick up the spoon but the spoon fell through her hand? I don't know... Oh, to your omelette rice is seriously the best! Yeah, <laughs> it was actually really good. So good. I do I not like medical. I do not like medical stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm. It's, be it's 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 because of my own personal training that I'm so comfortable talking about it to people. Oh, <laughs> you cannot thanks. like. I cannot see this. I owe it thing. to my dad. He taught uh, me well. I I spent <coughs> two uh, two years working as a nurse. YP can cook. One in the hospital think? and one in the nursing home. So uh, I I do know my stuff about uh, medicine, physiology, and all this. Ah, still need to pay the YP. Wow, very good. Let's get going, Iris. Hi. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Come back soon. Oh, how, yeah. how do you say you that in Japanese? Uh, thank you. Come back soon is. Uh, Matane, I guess, but customers is a different way to say it. Oh yeah, well, fair enough. Okay, now we've left off the last, the, the, the best bit for last. I don't know whether it's the best bit, but it might, it, it's a bit, it's the shrine. Mm -hmm.